Congratulations, you finished your first training example in EMS. But hold on, how do we know if the size of our air geometry is okay? If you notice here, the box looks big enough, but if you notice from the side, I'm not too sure. So let us see how to choose the right size of your air geometry. And that would make a whole lot of difference to your simulation results. First thing is we will use the post-processing feature of EMS to see if our box was big enough. Let me go ahead and plot the magnetic flux density on the entire model. You're gonna see all of it in blue and that's because of the color chart. So I'm going to go ahead and make the color chart a little bigger. But if you actually see what is in the blue region, you can see that the blue region really spans across 1.19 e to the minus one and all the way low to three e to the minus five. And that's uh, several orders of magnitude hidden in this blue region, okay? So to get a better idea, EMS allows you to plot a logarithmic scale. So I go to the settings, sorry, I go to the chart options, I zoom down and I go to the color options and then when I scroll down, I can plot in a logarithmic scale. Now when I say okay, now you will be able to see that in this phase, you have both green as well as blue. And that kind of tells you that you are in a wide range in the magnetic flux density. EMS has a probe option. I can right click and select probe where I can now just pick points on the screen and you will be able to see the value of the magnetic flux density. So here, some region in the green, I get 1.3 e to the minus two. And some region in the blue, I get six e to the minus four. That's two orders of magnitude difference in the same phase, which kind of tells you that the size of the air box is not optimal. Now you need to make sure that most values in the extremities, which is the extreme surfaces of the air box are very low and they're kind of close to each other. So let's see how to fix this issue. And the way to fix it is to increase the size of the air box. Let me go back to the model and then back to SOLIDWORKS. And when I go to the air geometry here, Basically, I edit the feature which talks about the extrusion of the air box and then let me see, I'm going to make it 500 millimeters. Now that seems to be a big enough air box. Now we can go back to the EMS tab and notice that EMS puts a little warning here. It notices that the geometry has changed. As a result, you can go ahead, right click on the study and select update geometry and say yes. So EMS now takes the latest geometry into account and you can right click on study one and select run. Now this will run the new simulation based on the new airbox geometry. And we can basically go back to the same plot that we created earlier, which is the magnetic flux density for the entire box. And now you can see those green regions starting to disappear and you can see uniform blue color here, somewhere in the e to the minus four region. Granted, this is still not uniform, but there is a limit to the size of the air box that we can go, but when you consider the maximum value, which is around 1.3 Tesla. Anything Tesla e to the minus four is extremely low compared to it.
As a result, you can safely conclude that the size of this air box is certainly much better than the size of the previous air box that we used. And also, we can stop with this as far as the size of the air box is concerned. So I can again go back to my old plots, for example, a section plot of my magnetic flux density, where I can see the magnetic flux density on my um, section quite uh, clearly. Now, so let us conclude this training example with how to measure the magnetic flux density at a particular location. And we will be talking about 2D plots in EMS. To do a 2D plot, you first have to create points in SOLIDWORKS. So let me select the front plane and then I basically create a line in SOLIDWORKS, say at a particular distance from the magnet and then going vertically downwards. Next, I'm going to go ahead and create a reference geometry point and then I choose the first uh, point and then next I choose the second point in the line segment. Now I have created two points in SOLIDWORKS. I can go back to my EMS manager tab. I can right click on the magnetic flux density and this time I select 2D plot linear option. I can use the import button to import the two points that I created using SOLIDWORKS. And now EMS will be able to plot the magnetic flux density from point one to point two along this straight line. So when I say okay, EMS is able to give me a plot of the magnetic flux density along that line represented by point one and point two. I can go to listing option and here I can look at the values at each location. Now EMS has the ability to export these values in either in the form of a text file or an Excel file. So congratulations on your second training example and thank you for watching this video.